moving forward, we're not done yet. We have a rotary sound, which was a big part of the record. There's a song I have called Shatter Dancer. And in the studio, we were able to use an old school, true Hammond B3 style rotary speaker. And that brought a lot of different kind of color to the sound. So like it was kind of the integral part for some of the slower stuff. I'm turning that on now and check this out. Kind of like the Univibe, it puts you in like a trance. It takes you to a new place, right? This to me takes me to outer space. It takes me somewhere like uh, ethereal, right? Now watch this. I'm gonna start to mess with this here. I'm gonna put up the, right? Now there's a, a slow version. That's what I'm on right now, right? There's an the option to change it to the fast. So essentially changing the speed of that fan, right? So check. You really hear that, I call it like gold dust. It's like on that, just that. It sounds weird when you really isolate it, but in a par, you know, if you're creating, you're doing something, it just has a really, really cool factor to it. So if I play like. What's cool about this too, you can get quasi like organs. Like you can take this anywhere like a. Go weird. And now let's mess with this a little bit. Let's actually take this speed. We're on the fast right now. Make it faster. <laughs> Let's go crazy, put overdrive on it. <laughs> What a weird sound that is, but it's so cool and it's like a Turn it down just a hair. And I bet you it'll give us something really cool. And again, it starts to feel like it's like bubbling, right? I'm gonna go on the slow setting. Honestly, it widens out the guitar and it, and, and, and it might not sound like this when you're listening to it now, but when I hear it in the room, it just makes everything just spread out, which is really cool. Taking that overdrive off, there's another feature about this that was so cool that they added was this kind of adding in the horn, right? So you're getting that horn sound. So check this out. You're starting to get that top, right? All that top horns are. Add in the blend. Starts to brighten you up too. So cool. It's just so cool. Now it has this noise feature too, which starts to give you a little bit more of that air, right? The air that you would commonly find in an old speaker like that. So it's almost something you feel. It's like you feel it when you're playing. It's kind of like when we went to that tape delay and you had that vintage or ancient sound, it, it kind of lets you feel that more. But to be honest, keeping that noise off, it's yet again, like all this stuff, it's just so easy to use. And we haven't preloaded pre any of these sounds, so 
yet again, remember, I'm still playing off of the um, the clean channel. I have not touched the the actual amplifier setting. So that is our rotary.